This video is thanks to Deep Knox. Thanks for the coffees, man. Really appreciate it. He's having trouble getting server-side mods to set up and run. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. I'll show you guys how to do it through Omega Manager on your local test server, through your code itself. And unfortunately, I don't use Nitrado, so I don't know how to do it on Nitrado. If any of you know how to do what I'm going to show you to do in today's video on Nitrado, please let us know in the comments so that you can help those who do use Nitrado. I use a dedicated server because it just gives me full control over everything. It's not as cheap, but it's way easier to work with. So first of all, if you're using Omega Manager, you can just come to mod configuration and down here on the right, you have client side and server side mod uh, toggle buttons. So if we come down to my game labs one, I've turned that on to server side only. So if you click that, it turns it server side, save your changes, reboot your server. And when it boots up, you'll be running whatever mod you've selected as a server side only mod, which will not be synced to the client. So certain mods are designed to only need to run on the server. That's what you do this for. If you're trying to run a server side mod on your local test server, then you need to edit your batch file. And what you need to do is add a line here. Uh, I believe it's server mod like this. If I go to the Bohemia documentation, yeah, server mod string. This is where you would put your server mod to run it on the local server through the batch file and make sure you add this to your command line like that. So it's all one line and that's it. That's all you need to do to run a mod on the server side explicitly. One last sort of bonus tip I want to include if you're making your own mods and you're a scripter, you know how to code, you can use the if def server tag, whoops, has to be all caps. And any code you put in between these tags will only compile and run on the dedicated server. So of course you can usually say if uh, get game dot is server and do some code in here. Um, you can also use the is dedicated server check, which according to the code brief documentation is the preferred method than is server, but I rarely see vanilla files use this. So I don't know why, or who wrote this or why um, I use this check in pretty much all my mods and it works just fine. So I think you can use these interchangeably. I don't think it makes a big difference for the vast majority of mods. It says it is valid much sooner. I think that means that is dedicated server will return true faster than is server will when your server boots up. So if you have things that need to check if it's running on the server in the early stages of the server boot up, then perhaps this is the better option. But honestly, this is quite advanced concepts and very niche that 99% of modders will never have to worry about. So you can use whichever one is more comfortable to you. I just get into a habit of using this is dedicated server check since it says here that it's preferred. If you can't use these checks, for example, if you're trying to define a function that you only want to run on the server, then you can use the if def instead. Just be aware that anything you write within the if def server tag cannot be referenced outside of the if def server tags. So there's very niche use cases for this, but I thought I'd mention it because it's useful to know if you're new to modding. So here you can see in my mod pack, I have some code that runs only on the server. So even if this mod loads up on the client, the client will ignore all of this code, but the server will run it. So there are certain functions that only run server side or certain things you want to check only on the server side in your code. That's how you do it. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Hopefully that's helpful. If it's not, let me know in the comments and I'll elaborate. Take care guys.